We know preparing the holiday meal can be kind of a daunting task, especially when there are a lot of unfamiliar mouths to feed in the house. Well, here's our barbecue tricks guide to smoking a mid-sized to large bird. This one was about a 17 pound turkey. We're using a standard Brinkman Gourmet Bullet type charcoal smoker with a uh, large chimney of charcoal briquettes and also water soaked hickory chunks to uh, add a little bit of smoke. A Weber Smoky Mountain cooker or any indirect heat would be similar. Hardwood lump charcoal may burn a little hotter, so that may speed things up a bit if you use that. Get the charcoal ready by firing up a chimney and waiting until the top coals are burning with some white ash. We'll have another video here to show you just how to do that. Wait until the coals are white lets you make sure most of the impurities are burned out of the charcoal and won't give the bird an off taste. While those coals are heating up, you can unwrap your bird. Typically, large birds like this uh, from the grocery store are already sold as enhanced with a brining solution already. And it'll be labeled on the packaging as enhanced. So really, you do not need to brine it unless you really want to, and yeah, you can. Over brining can actually make the meat kind of mushy, so just be aware of that. All you really need is to give the bird a good rinse, pat dry the skin with paper towels, remove all the weird uh, parts of it, the Pope's nose at the end here, pull out the neck and the organs that are stuffed inside and trim off any other excess skin that you think is gonna detract from the final look of your turkey. Make sure you remove all the plastic packaging that's inside too. Season the bird generously inside and out with your favorite dry rub seasoning, it could be anything. Then you may actually opt to inject the bird with some melted butter and Cajun seasoning, that's nice. And the one tip we have is to inject from the inside of the cavity to keep the outside of the bird pristine. Or just do what we did here. Loosen the skin of the turkey all around the breasts and as deep into the legs as you possibly can and massage some spice rub under the skin and into the uh, meatiest part of the bird. Or as we like to call it, getting to poultry third base here. It gets it nice and seasoned. Next, it's about time to load the smoker with the charcoal and uh, top it with some wood chunks like hickory to produce some smoke. Place the bird over the water pan to prevent uh, drips that flare up and also to block the direct heat of the fire just a little bit. Smoker should be about 225 degrees. This smoker simply reads uh, ideal, which is fine. Close the lid, leave untouched for two to three hours and uh, reloading with more charcoal after that if you need. Reload wood chunks through that little side door each hour and you don't want to open the lid if you don't have to. That just adds 15 to 20 minutes every time you open the lid. By adding wood chunks to the side door you also get a little glimpse of the skin through the door to make sure you're not overdoing it. After about three, uh, three and a half hours, check the temperature of the bird using a real meat thermometer. You're shooting for a minimum 160 to 170 degrees in the breast. Usually we'd hit the deepest part of the thigh to take the temperature, but it's kind of hard to get to in this grill, in the smoker. Use gloves to carefully remove the bird. Be careful of the hot liquid inside the carcass. Drain that out if you can. And let the bird rest for at least 15 minutes before you start carving. This turkey took about four hours and 15 minutes uh, with opening the lid simply once after three hours. Our biggest tip, always give yourself an extra couple of hours leeway just in case because it's easier to keep that bird warm and rest a little bit longer than it is to rush the whole cooking process. It's really pretty much that simple. If you need more turkey tips, it's all at the website www.barbecuetricks.com.